Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to get Windows 10 extended support for free until 2026. So if you have an old Windows 10 computer that is not compatible for a free upgrade to Windows 11 and you want to extend it to October 2026, you can do. And I'm going to show you how we can do it in this video. The video quality is not that great because the video file got corrupted, but I fixed it and uh, you can roughly see what I'm trying to show you right here. So let's first carry on with looking at the backup settings here. So first off, if we look at the backup settings that are synced to Windows, you can see it says Windows backup, backup files are synced to OneDrive and you can see remember all my apps and remember all my preferences. These are all turned on. Now you will need to have a Microsoft account to enroll into the extended support program, the ESU program. You're not going to be able to uh, extend support for one more year without a Microsoft account. Now once you've enrolled, you can go back to a local account straight away, but you are going to have to give up that Microsoft account information to Microsoft. Now I've turned all of this off right here and there's quite a few ways of going about it we're going to be using the free way which is syncing uh, my pc to microsoft temporarily you can see right here we do have a microsoft account already signed into that is my account right there if you haven't got one you will need to create one to be able to enroll for the extended support program so what we're going to do right here is we're going to go to the update and security and you need to update to the latest version now some people have said since they've downloaded and installed this version they're still not seeing the windows 10 support ends in october 2025 enroll now for extended security updates some people are saying they've not seen that and the reason for that is because microsoft are rolling this out uh, slowly to people in stages so even though you've got the update that is needed to get the windows 10 support ends in october 2025 you will need to wait uh, just until they push it out to you. But you should then see something looking like this. It says enroll now. And once you enroll now, this will allow you to enroll into the program. Now, we're not going to be using the reward points. There is a system where you can uh, enroll by using your reward points. I've made videos on this already, so you can check out my channel. There's basically three options. You've got the sync your PC to Microsoft using the uh, OneDrive and you can also use the uh, $30 payment method, and you can also use the reward points, which is a 1,000 points. You can see this PC doesn't currently meet the re minimum requirements, so what I need to do is enroll to extend for one more year. So I'm going to click on Enroll. Sorry about all the patches on the screen. It's just the file got corrupted, and you should now see Enroll in these extended security updates stay protected it's telling you about the support will end for windows 10 on october 14th 2025 that means you will not receive any more support after that date unless you enroll in the extended security updates program so again like i've said you can either pay the 30 dollars or you can use your 1000 reward points or you can use this free method which i'm showing you right here so i'm going to click next here and you can see we're still currently not supported here, but we will soon be able to enroll, and this will give us an extra one year. So it says you're eligible to enroll in the extended security updates at no extra cost. Of course, there's always going to be an extra cost. You need to sign into a Microsoft account. It's no big deal in my personal opinion, but some people will see that as uh, some sort of major concern for them and they might not want to enroll but personally i don't think it's a big deal just giving up a little bit of information like that uh, to get another year on your pc so once we've agreed on their terms you can click on the enroll button and this will take you to the next stage now remember you will need to be signed in like i am right here to a microsoft account and i have turned off everything right here and it says you are now enrolled in the extended security updates through October 13th, 2026. That means we're supported right up until that point. This will give you another bit of respite with that old PC. Your PC is enrolled and you're getting security updates right up on the top end, uh, right hand corner. You can see we are enrolled. So first off, what I want to do here now is it says make sure your PC is fully backed up. I'm not going to do any of that because I don't want to uh, start 
backing up all my stuff to uh, OneDrive or anything like that. So what I'm going to do here is click Done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to opt out of all the other stuff and then uh, go back to a local account. So at the moment, I'm still in my Microsoft account. I have enrolled, but I just want to show you that you can still go back to a local account and you can even turn off all of those features uh, and basically still stay with the PC. Your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. It's not going to affect you in any way, shape or form, like some people have been saying on YouTube. You can go back to a local account. Unfortunately, like I've already said, you will need to use a Microsoft account to get to this stage. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get the extended security updates. So first off, let me go ahead. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to quickly uh, go here to the uh, backup and sync program settings right here and make sure all of this is turned off. I do not want this on and I do not want to be syncing my PC to Microsoft. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see it's already remembered my preferences before and it's turned all of this stuff off and we're not going to be syncing any of this information to it. It just means that uh, we've now enrolled and what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to a local account because you need to be signed in. So let's go ahead and just turn this one off as well. Remember my apps. I'm just going to turn it off and we're going to go down to OneDrive and make sure we unlink uh, this uh, PC to OneDrive because we definitely don't want to be uh, linked to there. You should see a little cloud here with a line in it. That means it's not connected. We're not connected to Microsoft. If you are, you need to disconnect at this stage and then unlink that PC to Microsoft. Otherwise, it's going to continue to back up all of your settings and all of your apps and stuff like that and data to Microsoft. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then now is the time to unsync it. You could uninstall OneDrive if you wanted to, if that's what you prefer, but I'm just going to unlink it by clicking on the cog button right up the top, and we're going to literally unlink this PC. So let's go here, go to settings, and from there we can unlink it. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And you can see unlink this PC. Uh, I'm going to unlink right here, and this will remove it from uh, that um, OneDrive account. So let's go ahead and click unlink account right here. And again, once this is done, we should be good to go. So it's now unlinking. And now we can see there is my email address right there. And I'm going to leave this as is. So if you have synced it up at this stage, now's the time to do it. And then we're going to go back to a local account and then we'll reboot a PC and still see that we are still eligible for uh, security updates so let's go ahead and sign in options right here on the left hand side and go to your information and from here you can see we're still signed in so i need to go to a local account by clicking sign in with local account instead so let's go ahead and click on that option right there you should see are you sure you want to switch to a local account well, of course we are we don't want to be on a microsoft account so what we're going to do is go ahead and select next and this will then take us back to a local account. So now I need to put my pin in. You can either use a password or pin. I'm just gonna quickly type this in right here. So let's go ahead and do that right here and type it in. And then we can uh, basically go back to a local account. And it says, enter your local account information. You can enter some stuff right here if you wish. I'm gonna click next. And now it says sign out and finish. And it's gonna sign us out of that Microsoft account and put us back to a local account. So let's let it prepare our local account for us. I don't know what it's going to prepare because all it's going to do is sign you out. And now I'm going to go back and we're going to basically restart the system. And you can see we're already uh, signed in as a local account right here. And OneDrive is not signed in. We're not signed in there as well, which is good. And let me just quickly go to update and security because I want to quickly check to see uh, whether we are still eligible for extended uh, support on this old system. So I'm going to click on OneDrive, make sure that is not signed in. That's correct. And we're going to quickly go down to update and security right here, and we'll check to see. So let's click on here. And from here, it's going to open up Windows Updates. And we'll just let that populate. And you can see on the top right-hand side, your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. So everything is right. We should get another year out of this old PC. And from there, you can decide what you want to do after the fact, whether you want to go on to 
have Linux put on here or whether you want to uh, do something else. Microsoft are not going to be extending any more after one year. So you've got one more year with that old PC and then you'll have to uh, decide what you're going to do with it. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Just a quick video uh, for you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I apologize for not adding your names to the list sooner. I've been on holiday and I've only had a chance just to add them all in right here. Anyway, with that said, I shall catch you on the Discord server or I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.